Alright guys, welcome to episode 52 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly low key. Got John here with me. Got Milo and Maddie in the back. We're back with another episode, yo, yo. guys. We appreciate everybody that's liking, sharing, subscribing, and has just been showing love from the beginning, man. From the bottom of our heart, we love you guys. And we're gonna have some dope shit coming soon, man. We got some merch. We got some motherfucking logos coming in soon. Like we we're working, man. We're working. We we do apologize about the last couple weeks, you know, not putting too many videos out. But you know, people go through personal shit guys i'll take the fucking blame for it i was going through some shit man a few deaths in the family we had to take care of some shit so you know if you can relate you know what i'm saying go ahead and drop a comment you know what i'm saying and, and let real. us know but it's life yeah it's life man <laughs> shit, happens. shit happens we all got a day yeah yeah we all do it's like a little time and a little clock over our heads and shit yeah bro you gotta man everybody got a day that's all i'm saying yeah bro live your life like you got a fucking documentary crew following your ass around facts <laughs> I've seen that shit, and that's true. Um, but yeah, we got we got a couple things to talk about today. You already know. We Take it some, away, Marvin. What, yeah. we trying to, what are we trying to get into? One of my buddies, he invited me over. Uh, man, shout out Tom. Tommy. He fucking invited me over to play. Uh, shout out Tommy. Yeah, he got his own little setup. He got like a little man cave. You know what I mean? Like in his garage. He got a little AC unit if he gets too hot. He got a little net for the mosquitoes. Because if you live in Florida, you know. <laughs> you know the mosquitoes. You know, they, they be biting my head. It look like I got a fucking. They look like they're from Jurassic Park. Yeah, my head look like a fucking. <laughs> my head be looking from like. It don't look normal after I get bit by a mosquito. So, you know, it, it's, a, it's a chill vibe and shit. We be burning. But he invited me over, man. And, and it was cool. It was a vibe. Like it was Boston versus uh, Tampa. Mm. Because Tampa has the lightning or something like that. That's they're yeah, from they're from Tampa, yeah. yeah. And uh, it was cool. It was interesting. I, I looked at their teeth, man, because these guys are smiling and shit. They had no teeth, nothing. Yeah, man, it's one of those sports, bro. It's a it's a man's. You got to be man's man to fucking play that shit, bro. Because it ain't like the NBA where you fight, you get fined, you get suspended for three games. But you fight, you just sit in the box. <laughs> Five minutes, and then you come right back into the game and whoop somebody else's ass. Yeah, for real. I be <laughs> you know seeing that shit. Like, goddamn, they be fighting for real. They let them fight for a second. You know what I'm saying? When somebody hits the floor, they break it up. They try yeah. to break it up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, like... They try. Bro, you, you could get cut with the fucking skates and shit. Like, that shit's dangerous. You know what I'm saying? But that shit funny as fuck to me, man. I, I played hockey as a kid. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Dave and Julie. They were a, a Canadian couple that moved down. You know what I'm saying? For and, real? Yeah, they had their sons in hockey, bro. And, like, we all used to play hockey on the street. Like, like it was on, on the street, though. It wasn't, yeah. like, you know. But yeah. it was fun, man. That shit, it's a fun sport. It's a rough sport, though. You got to be a man. You got to be a man for sure yeah, to play that gotta, type of sport. You got to know what the fuck, you know, where you stand. <laughs> yeah. In the fucking scale, bro. If you're alpha or if you're beta. Yeah, bro, because... Yeah, it's either you defense or you offense in this bitch because you better play the right fucking side because if not, you're going to get beat the fuck up. <laughs> not for real. You're going to get pushed into the glass and fucking molly -whopped. Yeah, it's like rugby, <laughs> like, you know. But I was looking at it and, like, they don't, I was like, what happened to this guy's teeth? Like, this guy doesn't, he don't get it fixed. He's, he makes money. He's like, nah, man, honestly, bro, they don't get it fixed until the career is over There's with. There's no point, nigga. You're yeah. going to get it knocked the fuck out next week. <laughs> exactly. Bobby's going to come over here and fucking put you in the fucking mouth. And that's the man shit. For you to, like, yeah. just be like, yo, like, I love this sport. You gotta sport. love that sport, though, for real. Yeah, like, like it's very dedicated. Really love that sport. It's the same thing with rugby, like you said, man. Rugby's one of those sports where it's like, you have to love it to really want to play it, you mm -hmm. know, because you get hurt, bro. That shit hurts, bro. Yeah, I get hurt. You tackle football with no fucking pads, you know what I'm saying? You're liable to get your fucking tooth knocked out, you're liable to get your nose broken, you're liable to fucking, you know, break fingers and, and you know, limbs, like... Yeah. It's a man's man's sport. You know what I'm saying? But That's a man man sport. But yeah, man. Something, something <laughs> a little more lighthearted, bro. Earlier, we asked, you know, Tori and Toby before they left, what they rather have, grape jelly or strawberry jelly? They said strawberry like fucking five-year-olds. Hey, guys. I like let, grape. Whoever's listening out there, if you fuck, listen, if you like strawberry jelly, I'm sure that you like your crust cut off and you like it cut into triangles, too, with your little fucking... <laughs> Kindergarten face ass. Who the fuck likes strawberry jelly over grape jelly, bro? What the fuck? You know, I, I'm not really picky. Like, I like strawberry jam, but I also like, I like grape jelly. Like, it's kind of like. Listen, listen. It's kind of like, I don't know. Making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich without grape jelly is like putting a fucking Chevy engine in a Ford. It just don't go together, bro. It don't. It, it don't, don't go together, man. That's true. Ford is the original Chevy came after. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? True. Grape is the original. Grape so is the original. fuck off. If you ain't eating your fucking peanut butter jelly with grape, 
You're not you're not living life right. That's all I'm gonna say. You're not living life right. Like I've actually had some like real like real jelly. Yeah, like real. Like not from the jam. store. The yeah, real grape jam. Like I like don't know about that. Yeah, shit, like bro. actually homemade type shit. Like that's a different story. Like if you have never tried that type of jam in your life, then I recommend it. Yeah, because that's the real jam. Like picking berries and shit, and you know yeah. picking grapes. You, you know got what I mean? Like grandma over there stomping on them shits for like two days. <laughs> Yeah, the real shit. Yo, but go down in the comments, guys, and let us know what the fuck you rather have. Grandma. Or grape. You got grandma over there stomping with her bare feet. Toe jam, bitch. Spinning on that that's shit. What, that's the flavor. That's where toe jam came from, it bro. It brings the flavor out of it. Nah, that's cranberries, too. What's that commercial? I yeah, think it's like cranberry, cranberry juice. The Cran Ocean. Yo, my nigga, I never wanted to see another one of those commercials after that shit. I don't want to know that somebody's crusty fucking toes were on my fucking... Cranberry juice. They use, I, I think they <laughs> like, use like boots and shit like that, man, or whatever. But fuck. <laughs> stop stomping on my shit. I'm pretty sure you can fucking have like find a machine that could do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's very true. Yeah, that's very true. I wonder how much these motherfuckers get paid. Like, do they just, get a smoke uh, break? Like, I mean, you stomping all day? Are you stomping and smoking at the same time? You know, like, the yard on a hoe? <laughs> nah, for real. Fuck out of here. Now nah, the farm life must be rough. Farm life, yeah, nah, it takes a different type of human to live that shit. Like man. you're, you, that's that's supposed to be you like. You gotta be dedicated, bro. Yeah, you gotta wake up early in the morning. Like I'm talking about, like early, early, like four in the morning. Yeah, you gotta go feed. fucking feed the cows. <laughs> yeah, get the milk. Grab the eggs for the breakfast. <laughs> yeah, like it's different, bro. You that's gotta make sure lifestyle. you gotta make sure that they good. The pigs are rolling in the mud. You know what I'm saying? Eating some good shit. Mm -hmm. Nah, they eat trash. They eat trash. You know, they they eat all the yeah, the bottom babe, shit. You can feed them fucking slop. It's still gonna taste good. <laughs> Sloppy Joe's, you know what I mean? Some real shit. That's but true. nah, bro, moving on to like something a little bit more serious, man. Fucking these California fires are getting crazy. And yeah, you I know, heard about a that. lot of people don't give a fuck, you know, because you know, it's you California. Know how, you know how people are, or if it ain't in my fucking backyard, I don't care. But I'll tell you why you should care, Marvin. Guess what? California's the mecca of fucking weed. And if you smoke weed, you should give a fuck about California catching fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you don't smoke weed, I then I mean, even then, you should. You know, be you a should fucking, care. You, you yeah. should be human. Yeah. You should be a human being and not be a piece of shit. Yeah. And have a heart. Facts. Know? But besides that, like, if you smoke weed, bro, you should definitely care about the fucking California fires because they provide eighty percent of the nation's fucking button. Yep. Very true. So if your ass, if their fucking crops are burning down, guess what, nigga. Yeah, you ain't getting, fucked. Yeah, you ain't getting a goddamn thing. And if you are a bitch, tax. Yeah, for <laughs> real. Prices, you think prices are going up now? Imagine. Go, go to a dispensary, guys. Go to a fucking dispensary and see how much you're paying for an ounce. You're going to be pissed. You're going to be pissed as fuck. You're going to be pissed. Very true. Because there's state tax, there's fucking, you know, there's all types of there's taxes. Gonna be a, there's going to be a day where we're not going to be able to control a fire. Like it's gonna happen. Like there's it, gonna it be already happened, bro. Yeah. With the Amazon and shit. Like that shit burned a lot of fucking land, and they couldn't control it. it yeah. It's happened already in California. You know where it's like it. it you just gotta kind of play it out and let it die down because you, there's fires out there that they're just too big, too powerful to control, bro. Mm -hmm. And it's like. It's sad, man. It's yeah, sad because there's people, you know, it's not just about we guys. We're playing around. But there's people losing homes, bro. You know, yeah. like, you go out there, you start your life, you buy your home, and two years later, that shit burns down in a fucking fire. And yeah, you like, got insurance. On, That's cool yeah, and all, but, but it's still. it like, don't matter, bro. Yeah. You lost all your shit. Yeah. Like, like, nobody wants to go through that. Yeah, you exactly. Know what I'm like, yeah, you're going to get some money, but guess what? You're not going to get it for a few months. Yeah, it's going to be a while. That's a process with right. the insurance policies and, where you and gonna all that. Go? Yeah, where are like, you going to go during that time? What are you going to do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got fucking three kids. All their shit's gone. All your shit's gone. Your wife's shit's gone. Now you got to start from zero. And it's sad, man. So we feel for you guys. You know what I'm saying? That's like, it. shout out to the California fire people, you know, that were affected and are being affected right now, man. Because that shit, you know. That shit's getting serious. It is getting serious. And it's serious. speaking about policies and shit like that and insurance, um, just like health insurance, period. Like, do you think, with just health, let me just start with health. And then we'll get into the whole insurance thing. But, like. Remember, like, how I was telling you about, like, do you think people could just buy more health? You see what I'm saying? Do you think people are able to buy health with, uh, just buy it? Just money? Yeah, yeah, like, like. I mean, it, it depends on what you say when you buy health. I, I don't say you could buy health. Yeah, like. But, yeah, you could, you definitely would be better off having a lot of money, bro. Look at the, that one guy, the rich, the super rich guy, I think it's, um, 
he's one of he's one of like one of like the leaders of these families, like the thirteen families or whatever. Yeah. He had like seven heart surgeries. Seven open heart surgeries, bro. Like yeah. re- heart replacements. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A heart transplant, like seven times. A regular person would have died waiting. Yeah, exactly. Waiting you know what in I'm line. Saying? Yep. But because he's a billionaire, you know, seven hearts he could buy. Them. Yeah. But it's a win it's a win like lose type of thing because like how I was telling you as well too, like for the insurance, like some people get more nursing because they can't afford it. But the people that are rich, they only get a certain amount of hours that they're able to get. Which is like they could have a worse condition and it doesn't matter if you have more money than you see what yeah, I'm saying? I, I don't see anything wrong with that though, yeah. because every everybody needs to have the, everybody has the right to like be taken care of if you're fucking sick, bro. That's yeah. just as a human. Yeah. You know? But bro, if you have millions or or billions of dollars in the bank, why are you asking for assistance with money? Yeah. When you're taking that out, you're taking that away from somebody else that really needs it and can't afford it. You can't. Yeah. That's, you know what I'm saying? It's if not you, really like that though. It's more of like they don't they only get a certain amount of time of nursing based off your income. Right. That's crazy. I mean, that's how it's supposed to be, bro. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Like, really? I don't see. Yeah, I don't see what's wrong with that. Yeah, I don't see what's wrong with that. I feel bro. like it's a win. Like, I just, I feel like everybody if should have, have the same. Not, you know what I mean? If you have the money for it, you should pay for it. Period. Okay. Period. Yeah, that's true. Period. I feel like, like everybody have, should get equal, though. Like that I don't is know. treating you equal, bro. Because yeah. if you were in their position, they're not going to give you six hours. Yeah. They're going to give you the twenty-four. Yeah, I see what you're saying it's too. Yeah, thing. it's like, the same thing. Yeah. If you if you could afford it, bro, I don't I don't see nothing wrong with being made p- pay something if you can afford it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you saying like I, I, it just don't make sense to me? Like yeah. to ask for help with money when you have millions in the bank. Yeah. Like you could afford the nurse, nigga. You don't have to take away from somebody else that can't afford that nurse. Yeah. That's just my opinion. That's wild. But guys, thing. go down, you know what I'm saying? Go down in the comments and let us know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If, if you agree with it. Or yeah. not, you know what I'm saying? If if rich people should be given free nursing, just like the people that don't have the money, you know what I'm saying? Like, you go down in the comments and let us know what you think about that shit. Yeah, because that's, I mean, it's interesting. It's very no, interesting. No, it is interesting. Yeah. It is interesting, but the, I, I don't see anything wrong with it. Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with it. Yep. But yeah, man, better get ready, boys. What's going that on? second stimulus check is coming around. Oh, I don't know, man. Let's see what happens, bro. Because they be talking shit. Nah, it's, it's coming. It's I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Last time I told you the same thing. Yeah. You're going to know, bro. No, nah, it's coming. No, nah, com- it's coming. No, nah, it's coming, bro. Because this shit's gonna last way longer than what people suspected, and um, a lot of people are still hurting. A lot of people are still out of jobs. A lot of people still can't catch up on their bills, and you know. We can't be we can't be ignorant and fucked up and be like oh because we don't feel it doesn't mean nothing's going on because there's people out here really fucking hurt. Bro. Nah, people are feeling you know it. Saying? People and are feeling it all over. They're gonna do another stimulus check, bro. It might be the last one, it might not, but they're gonna do another one, bro. Trust I mean, me. I I, I, peop, I I really think people need it. Yeah, like I really no, do. People, like people do need it, bro. <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah, that's not that's not something to play around with, man. Because yeah, there's a lot of people getting laid off and shit like that, man. Like I've seen it. There's people people working for like companies for like 15 years, bro. 15 years, people working for like companies, and then they're just like, "All right, sorry, Full we company. gotta lay you off." Yeah. Like, like that's wild to me. Full companies are shutting down, bro. People are getting their hours cut. You know what I'm saying? Over, look at the postal service, bro. Overtime is cut. Yeah. Period. If you're ordering anything that's coming through the postal service in the last couple months, you've noticed everything is coming late. Yep. Everything. Yeah. It doesn't matter what the fuck it is. It's coming late because. That's just that's they cut overtime for them, and that's a government funded fucking you know company. Yeah. So imagine the companies that aren't government funded; they have no help. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna have no help, bro. And and a lot of people are gonna lose jobs in the you know in the next like year and a half, two years, bro. This shit's gonna last longer than what people think, man. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Experts are predicting five years, bro. Real that's talk. crazy. For everything to go back to being stable, you know what I'm saying? And like. People get jobs back and shit like that. It's gonna yeah. take a while, man. Um, yeah, it's it's an emotional time. It is you know? an emotional time. But there, there's some times that we shouldn't be emotional though for for us men. You know what I mean? Facts, bro. You know what Facts. I mean? Facts. Like speak. guys, tighten up out there, bro. <laughs> nah, dead ass, nah, bro. For like, real, stop bro. being bitch, main ass niggas, bro. Like, like, and complaining. You know what I mean? Like, like bro, yeah, it's like 
Everybody goes through shit. Everybody goes through emotions, but bro, control yourself. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, there's time to, to to cry, and there's times for being a man, and there's times for there's always times for everything, man. It's yeah, not it's not bad to everything. be emotional. It's not bad. It's not. But there's times where you just gotta be a man and suck it up because exactly. if you're around a female, you know what I mean. I feel like they want somebody that's gonna be strong. Yeah, facts. In tough times, being protected. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Or you know, it's just. And it's, it's not even. It's, it's just not even le- yeah. learning how to control your emotions. Yeah. As a man. As an adult, as an adult, yep. whether you're man, man or woman, you should learn how to control your emotions. You shouldn't let anger get the best of you. You shouldn't let, you know, depression get the best of you because we all go through these emotions. Bro. Yeah, facts. Like, all the time. It, it, it's not like only certain people go through it. Even the most successful fucking people that you see on this earth, bro, go through depression. They go through their shit, bro. Yep. You know, money don't cure everything. Money don't solve everything. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you just got to keep that shit in mind, dog. Like, yeah, you got to keep it in mind, man, because, I mean, I, I, I've cried, man. I cried a couple times. Bro, you know I've what cried I mean? a lot recently. Yeah. Bro. Ain't like, nothing, yeah. bro, guys, as men, for real, let, let's keep it real, bro. There's something that we need to talk about because we're men, bro. Like, yeah, facts. There's nothing wrong with showing emotions. There's nothing wrong with crying when, when it's appropriate. You yep. know what I'm saying? But don't get too carried away. And don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, yeah. control yourself. Exactly. Control yourself. Exactly. You know? Like. That's very true. Like, yeah, bro, in the last two months, bro, I've cried a few times. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, you know, losing a few family members and shit, fucking friends of the family. Like, that shit ain't easy, man. That shit ain't easy. But at the same time, it's like, you don't see me out here fucking crying in front of people. And, you know, like, that's a, to me, that's a private thing. Like, go, go grief on your own time yeah you know like everybody's dealing with the shit the, that they're dealing with yep you know so like if somebody opens up to you and they're like yo bro what's going on that's different but you know for the most part i feel like certain things should just be kept private real shit yeah a lot of things should be kept private you know what i'm saying like how much money you make or you know like you, you can that, get bro, kept, guys yeah. nobody gives let me say it again <laughs> nobody <laughs> gives a fuck <laughs> how much money you fucking have bro no nah, for real nobody cares there's niggas out here that got millions trillions billions that don't fuck it. none of that shit matters at the end of the day it don't. there's millionaires that nobody's gonna show up to their fucking funeral because they were pieces of shit people yeah and there's people that are fucking broke as, as a doorknob right now bro and they're gonna have 150 people at their funeral crying over them because they were a good-hearted person yeah you know what i'm saying it's like That's, none yeah. of that money shit fucking matters at the end of the day bro like yeah, yeah you can live comfortably and you can take care of your family and certain things but in all reality bro if you're a shitty person nobody's gonna fucking ki- like nobody cares yeah. nobody I- cares about your fucking money no one does and it's i feel like it's all about balance too like if you're able, if you're able to balance like I saw a video with Gary V and shit when he was talking about like, yo, if you're if you're able to get some money, you're able to like like stay consistent with everything that you want to do, and you're happy. That's all that fucking matters, man. Facts. He's like, fuck everything else. Facts. You know bro. what I mean? He's like, if you're making money and you're and you're you know reaching your goals, you're still having a good time with your friends on Saturday night, able to to do the shit that you want to do and still be successful at it, then fuck yeah, man. Because I know ten, I know millionaires, I know millionaires that's what he said that uh that don't really give up like they're not like they're not happy like sure. they're not happy at all like they you know they got everything that they want and but they're just not fucking happy so uh that's 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 big to me I, I thought about that i was like man like it's all about balance bro like it is all about balance bro balance is, is very important thing yeah. balance is a very important thing bro talking about balance man something that <clears throat> we need to learn how to balance as adults is uh liabilities and assets you know what I'm saying? Like, that's something that's super important for being a successful person later on in your life. Learning how to not get liabilities when you're younger and invest in the assets that are going to pay you back later on in life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's something that I want to talk about because we're both starting to invest, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, Acorns, fucking, you know, Robin Hood. Robin Hood. We're starting to do trade different stocks. shit, trade stocks. And it's like, yeah. like guys, like... It's cool, you know, it's cool to, to go and make a, a decent living in a, in a you know, a real way, a humble way, or, you know, working for somebody else and shit like that. But honestly, if you want to take care of your kids and your family, you have to start investing into something that's going to make money by itself. 
while you're working. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like passive income is the most fucking most important thing. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people don't even know what that term means, passive income. Like it's income that you don't necessarily have to work for. It's income that's it's just natural. It's coming in every month. And you don't have to go to work for it. You don't have to do nothing for it besides just, you know, manage whatever it is that's making you that money. But yeah, man, I, I feel like that's super important, bro. And I feel like we're doing it at the, at the perfect age, bro. You know, yeah. 25, 26, we're starting to invest into our future. So in 20, 30 years, bro, we're chilling. Yeah. Chilling, nigga. Just vibing. Cool. Just chilling. <laughs> okay, grandpa all this, those like, smoking dudes. Like, honestly, like, stocks is where, where it's at. And it's always a risk. And I got friends that are like, oh, but, you know, if the stock market crashes, well... I mean that's kind of a good thing and a bad thing because when stocks mm-hmm. drop, you kind of yeah, want to buy them. Invest. You want to buy them. It depends on what you're trying to invest into and what your whole goal is. Like, yeah. you know, you could day trade. You know, that's one way to make money, or you could just do long term investments. You could you could buy stocks and not touch them for twenty years. Exactly. And then when you go look, nigga, you done made three million dollars off this without shit. you even sweating sweating balls. You, yeah, yeah, you, you know don't what fucking I mean? work for it, bro. You just yeah. you just saved. It's like a savings account that you fuck, you know. That you could. It's all yeah. risky though, man. Like the thing is, what really holds people back, in my opinion, is like they don't want to take that risk. They're like, ah, I just, I. It took me so long to save this five thousand dollars. It's like, yeah, but that five thousand dollars could turn into thirty if you know how to invest it correctly. Yeah, and, know and how yeah, to sell you it. might lose some money here and there, but it's all trial and error. You know, it's all trial and error because it's all risky, bro. Working for a company is risky. You could get demoted, you could get fired, you could get laid off. Anything could fucking happen, bro. Anything in life. And that's what people don't understand. Like, bro, all of it is risky. Investing is risky, working is risky, all of it's risky. Because there's plenty of people that work for a while, and then they end up getting hurt on the job. The, the fucking job don't want to pay them the money they're supposed to be getting. Yeah. Now you got to prove that you got hurt for real. Now but now you, you know got drug saying? tested because yeah. you smoke weed, and now, now they're not going to pay you. Like, oh, well, see, it was the fucking weed. Now yep. you're fucked, bro. Yep. And it's... Like, come on, man. Yeah, bro. Like, it, it's all a game, man. And you got you to gotta play chess, not checkers. You know what I mean? Like, you really got to make sure that you're on point. And if you have a regular job, you got to make sure that you're clean, bro. Like, yeah. most of the time. Like, because I've seen, sto- I've heard stories of people, like, not able to get, uh, you know, unemployment or, or, or they don't, ben- they ben- mm-hmm. they got to pay the medical bills themselves because uh, they were dirty. They can't, they pissed out dirty for weed. I mean, and the way that they they look at it, their perspective of it is like, oh, like maybe he was just high and he fucked up, just like yeah, what he said. Exactly. Like, and it's just like, damn. I mean, that's a way to cover their ass, bro. It's like it's, it's always something. Yeah, it's always something. And it's like for you, if you're working for yourself, no one can tell you what you could do. It's just like, yo, like this is this is me, and that's it. Yeah, like, bro. But the thing is, like, it takes a while, and people don't, you know, people want that for sure check. Yep, exactly. But what they don't understand is that. That for sure check is coming. You just have to work a little bit longer for it without seeing the benefits right away. Like, yeah, you're not seeing that weekly check of five hundred dollars or six hundred dollars or whatever it is. But when you do see that those checks, it's gonna be way more than that, and you're gonna be able to fucking take care of your family for the rest of your life because you chose to take the harder route. Because the companies you worked for started just like us. Yeah. They started just like us. They started with an idea. Work ethic, motivation, and consistency. And then they got themselves to where now they're hiring all these people, you know? And you could do the same thing. It's all about whether you believe in yourself or not. Yep. You know, whether you whether you believe you can or whether you believe you can't, you're right. You're right yep. on either one. Like, it's all about your mentality, bro. And if you think you could do it and you put the work ethic behind it, you'll do it. Yeah, I feel like work ethic beats talent all day. All fucking day. All day. All, all day. day. Cause I saw I saw what the baby said the other day. It was an interview. He was saying, "Uh, yeah, man, like you could be the best fucking artist, man. You could be the best artist. If you lazy, the shame you're gonna be a lazy piece of shit. You're not gonna make yeah. it. There's plenty of people that are that are talented, but you know what that's called? It's a waste of talent. He's wa- wasted talent. It is, bro. Yeah. And that's the saddest thing in life is wasted talent. Like yeah. Bronx Tale says, bro. That's real fucking talk, man. Real talk. Like that's crazy. That's why it's like you you gotta." You got to try, man. You got to try. And that's why I told you the other day about, like, I was, you know, I was thinking about stopping the music shit. But it's like, 
It's like Boosie says, man. If you keep leaving your girl and coming back and leaving her coming back, just stay. Yo, just, stay. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking just, yo, stay. Just stay, guy. bro. Yeah. 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 <laughs> just stay. You fucking love her, you piece of shit. Facts. Why are you leaving again? Facts. <laughs> Get out of here. Crying at the door. Sabrina. Uh, oh, I always loved you. Face nah, I ain't nigga. gonna lie, bro. I got a funny ass story to say, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about. <laughs> So, oh shit, he just hit his head on the fucking I just thing. Out, bitch. Damn. I'm too big for this fucking house. I hate this shit. Oh, uh, bro, fucking. <laughs> Talk Damn, about bro. tries, man. You know, people are petty nowadays, bro. <laughs> just being petty, man. So, my, my brother, he graduated high school, right? Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. Damn, bro. Death. My brother graduated high school and shit. <laughs> <laughs> right? And he, he graduated during the summer and stuff like that. Congrats, and, Kev. Yeah, it, congrats. You know what I mean? That's awesome. He just recently broke up with his girl. <laughs> he just recently broke up with his girl. Or they just broke up or whatever. I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't care. Well, you put my dog business out there. I got your back. Huh? Nah, bro. It's hilarious, though. But he went up. <laughs> Yo, so they graduated together, the same class and everything. And I'm just like, bro. All right, cool. Like, it was funny. They did a little speech and shit. And then, like... You know, they have the, the speaker, like the, the, the lead person of your class. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So she, it was her. Got his ass. Got his ass. And I see him in the back like, God. Got his ass. <laughs> damn, I'm like, damn. damn. I wonder what she going to say. She's like, yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> she got a long. You're a piece of shit. Nah, she, she had a long ass speech talking about, you know, it was, some, it was a really good speech. It was awesome. You know, she's an intelligent girl. Like, yeah. I could tell. Yeah, she's smart. And, uh, but at the end, she was just like, I want to thank my new boyfriend. <laughs> I was like, damn. Yo, on God, bro. He, he, bro That's funny. He should have ran up and punched both of them right in their shit. Bro, I looked over at him and I was like, and I could see it in his face. He was like, wow. Nah. Hey, when he came bro, up to me, he's like, did nah, you hear what she said? I'm talking shit. But nah, honestly, bro, listen, man. That's how life goes. Nah, that showed him a lesson though. Like, yeah, yeah, that's how life goes, bro. Yeah, see how you petty, see how petty people could be. That's and everybody knew who she was talking about. Don't put your all into somebody because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they might not really give a fuck at the end of the day. Facts, you know what I mean? Have fun, man. And he 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 looks back right, and he's 18, like, yeah. 19, bro, go live your motherfucking life. I know what I was doing at eighteen, nineteen, bro. Yeah, I was wilding out. I was wilding the fuck out. Damn. No reason, just cause. <laughs> Why not? I just got a whip. We out. <laughs> yeah, back. Yo, let's, what's just, up? let's just go to McDonald's. Fuck nigga, it. We let's out. hit the drive through nigga, and then let's hit the club. Like, what's yeah. up? What are we doing? I never ate so many McChickens from 18 to, to like, 21. My nigga, it was like a ritual for us to, to slide <laughs> a these. we go get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nah. Head straight through the fucking drive through bro. Nah, fact. Four different orders. <laughs> and each order is like $15. Because everybody's <laughs> drunk and hungry as fuck. Everybody want to be put on the same order. Fact. A shit. large, large, <laughs> two, two. <laughs> Mad as fuck. Inside, bro. Yo, no I'll never, in our food and shit. Yo, I'll never forget. <laughs> I'll never forget when our friend fucking passed out in the fucking, in the car when we were in the drive through And I was like, bro, you know who you are if you're watching. But, bro, when he fucking went to sleep, he was like, I was like, bro, watch him. <laughs> Watch him come back to life, bro. He just had a kickstart. He was like, Nah, facts. Came back. He nah, was like, bro, Damn. Shout, shout out my dog Trey. He yeah. was mad as fuck. <laughs> nigga was passed out. Me and this nigga went through the drive-through, bought our shit. He woke up after we're leaving. He was like, Bro, go back, bro. I'm like, bro, now nah, we're going to the house. Nah, you slept, nigga. Yo, he was you slept. Yeah, bro, bro. I told him. I was like, Yo, yeah, I bro, we're about to pull up. He's like, Bet. And then he falls asleep. Like, All right, well, shit. I guess you didn't want to. Bro, when he kickstarted, he came back to life. Nah, bro. we should have got him something. Think yeah. about it. Now we're dicks. Yeah, we're, but fuck it, bro. Yeah, he slept. <laughs> <laughs> Slept as fuck, man. Yeah, bro. Drunk nights, man. I've I've done some crazy shit. Yeah, bro. drunk nights. But guys, don't drink and drive. For Please real, don't. Man. Please don't oh. drink and drive. That shit is so horrible. Well, guys, <laughs> it's been real. <laughs> it's been yours truly, low key. Yeah. The video cut off, but we appreciate everybody that's been rocking since the beginning, man. Facts. For real, for real, we it's love all love, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.